five, four, three, two, one. Uh, we got some equipment running in the background. This is kind of new for me to be doing screen casting, but I will do it. I see some background noise here. I can't change anything while it's already while it's recording. No. <coughs> Anyways, this is the name of this video. Take down your slander of me, MS, and I'll remove this video. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. Totally, now, Snake, you got some serious mental issues and integrity issues also. Anyways, I'm not sure how I'm going to list or number these videos in this one, because they all got to be put together. And we'll start out with the first one, where just out of the clear blue sky, like December, January, December 2018, and uh, January 2019, beginning of the month, something like that, someone told me, hey, old psycho is going nutso again, you know? Like, who's that? You know, Psycho. Snake. Really. And a couple people sent me some videos and say, man, this guy's just off his rocker. But I just left it alone. You know? He's probably watched some videos. He's realizing that he's got inadequacy issues. His bench. His skills. My parents taught me to leave people like that alone. You know what I'm talking about. So I usually do. It pissed me off. Yes, it did. And now it should have been the beginning of the video. Now, this one here is like nothing but deception and BS. We're going to go through it a little bit. Hopefully I can figure this out and get it started. And it says, take this down like some kind of a threat. What needs to be is you need to, number one, apologize to Mr. Tom. Warren and maybe even compensate him for the anguish, his lost time, and then the radio, entire radio community for all the BS that you have created in the time. Your time's not worth nothing, I guess. So you're, you're, you're doing these goofy videos. You should be working, is what you should be doing. And you shouldn't be talking while you're working on other people's equipment, by the way. Anyways, you should really, really apologize wholeheartedly to the entire radio community. I expect childish, immature things like you did, Snake. You know, I, I do. I mean, I've been doing this a long time, man. Long time. Obviously, you're not aware of that. If you have been doing this any length of period of time, you'd know exactly who I am and what I do. No one's ever attacked you that I know of, but if you read something that you felt inferior over, that's your problem. Get up to speed. But you shouldn't be lying and being deceitful the way you do. I'm probably, I probably already put the one video up of a video gate, which I'm sitting in the Jeep, just sitting there, doing a recording, meeting two drivers. It's one of my radios, and you know how they perform. The AF, IF, modulation, everything. It's top-notch, speaker and all. You're not going to find any better. You can try all you want. So anyways, let's get started on this. On the air, he's talking to the customer. And it does, it sounds overdriven, okay? But I'm going to... It's because it is overdriven. It's over, it's not even really overdriven. It's drastically and grossly overmodulated. Like the rest of them that you hear, excluding a couple of radios at the very end, when I turn the volume up, when everybody's up, out in the distance somewhere, is when the volume's turned up. So I could hear. My radio, I could turn it up probably all the way and I won't disturb with my speaker. Explain why. I'm going to explain why, Miss. Let's hear it. Your mark uh, is because um, why the radio sounds like it does. Okay, and I told the customer when he bought his when he bought his. Um, <coughs> this is the second time, by the way, that I know of that he's just completely went off his flipping rocker. His Lincolns, I said, they run hot on the side. 
when they run they run hot on the side and they do not you have to turn up the volume the, the miking all the way on the radios okay you have to turn the volume up all the way on the radios to make the volume has nothing to do with the mic gain. We're going to get into that a little bit. But I do want to cover something else before you go too much into the video. Is Tom told me what transpired. I'm listening to you. <laughs> what's transpiring. So I wasn't at these locations at the same time. I'm a person that's, I dig integrity. You know, I like facts and facts only. So... What, what I was told by Tom and what you are saying, Snake, they don't agree. And I have to lean towards Tom. And when I got out of Tom, and what I remember was, uh, and this is before Tom and I really ever did anything, you know. I, I don't know why you blew up the way you did. Maybe he said he was getting a radio from me or someone was on your page or something making comments or asking you questions. I have no idea. I've already discussed this years ago I don't really go anywhere the only videos I watch are the videos that I recommend that I recommend on the right side of the recommended of my YouTube page that's the good stuff so anyways Tom told me that you had this issue with he and that you met him you, you two met and he dropped the radio off and he picked it up hours later I don't remember the exact time he had nothing bad to say about you at all. Nothing. We talked a little bit, you know, that, that day and during that this video. We talked, and by the way, when he was sitting there, you know, prior to you seen him in my Jeep, there's more to the video than meets the eye. Nothing deceiving, it's just truck numbers, profanity, dead spots, etc. It's you know, so you'll see it jumping a little bit from pointing to be but he pulled in backed in like a professional we're talking on the radio and uh, I, one reason I use this any tone is because of the AGC and that the uh, the signal meter is adjustable if you know how and it's surface mount so it's a little bit more complicated for most you have to have those skills this one's not adjusted it's only tuned and there's updates and modifications to the radio, but not to ever achieve burning overload. I like all the internet mod tricks, junk, crap stuff is. That's where you're where you're gonna get burning overload. But you'll see other videos. Scott Johnson's got some, and a few others that these radios don't have burning overload unless you get a lot of power and you put a 102 inch whip 10 foot from the other one. Then you'll have an issue. But you'll notice that. In this entire video, excluding the very, very end, there's one radio that's properly tuned that will kick the living you-know-what out of the rest of them. And that is Gringo's uh, 447 HPC2. There's a video on that radio also. And you can hear it clean as day. The rest of them are truck stop radios. That's all right. Just truck stop tune, man. Just a truck stop tune. Over-modulated splatter box. Yeah. So let's go a little further. Come to get any audio out of them, okay? The limiters, I have the original video for this. And when you listen to your video, you can hear it's distorted, it's over-modulated, and the echo wasn't modified. That's the number one thing. If you would have done your research, you'd have seen that I've done that a long, long time ago, but I don't share. Everything, the, the radio that I sold the customer, and look how high Mark, his volume is. Look how high Mark's volume is. That's at the end of the video. I mean, there's no one in the parking lot or 10, 15, 20 miles down the road. Right here. That's a But you're not showing that. You're being very deceitful. Total deception, okay? <laughs> yeah. Major deception, okay? The deception part of it is... You're opening your mouth and bumping your gums. Because the guy sounds distorted on his radio because the volume is up all the way. Everybody on this video sounds distorted, okay? Everybody on this video... Everybody on that video besides one driver, and that was 447. At the very end, you'll have to listen to uh, the original video to listen, to watch for it, and pay attention to the video closely. I know this is long and drawn out stupid shit. Snake in his queen drama. 
Sounds just trying to cover up all his crap. Snake, just admit it, man. I'll really never accept your apology. Okay, you you've done you've gone you crossed the line. To me, you're like a little kid. That's what you act like. You don't act like we're even close to the same age. Your music's okay, man, but you're an idiot. And he's Mark's going. Oh, well, you can't you can't fix it from outside the. That's right. You cannot fix it from outside the radio. <laughs> radio. <laughs> the limiters are in the radio. Okay, that's fine. It's irrelevant if the limiter is in the radio. But what is the exact percentage of modulation? You can't tell unless you have a decent scope or a, say, an NIST traceable certification of calibration on your oscilloscope. There's no more of an important tool. No tool on any radio man's bench is more important than one tool. That's called an oscilloscope. Nothing on the bench is more important. Mark, okay. That's him right there. Now listen. Listen. Okay, by the way, it's working just fine. You hear me say that throughout the video. Then in the video itself, you'll see in the comments where I made a statement that I have to let you guys hear them yourself. If I had told him how bad it sounded, his attitude would have been entirely different. You can call it manipulation. You can call it whatever you want. I was able to understand him. I kept him talking up close, far. And when it sounded, you know, where I could understand it, it was okay. But he did hear it. And I forgot about something. There's too much I'm thinking about. The beginning of the video, before he was in my Jeep, we're both talking skip. He's wanting to see if he can get out over me, etc. And said, man, you don't even want to think about that. In more than one way. There is nothing power-wise equally that's going to touch my Jeep. It doesn't, I, people are going to get pissed. It doesn't matter. Watch the videos. You'll understand exactly why. It's like a pound weighs a pound. That's all there is to it. Knowing what to do with that pound is critical. But as I jumped up into his truck, before my butt cheek, you know, I've been around trucks a little bit. Open door, jump in, like woof, jump on in. Before my butt cheek hit the seat, I turned down and looked at him and said, you can't hear shit. And then popped my butt down on the seat. Looked up at the radio and all the controls. Yeah, I know that radio. <laughs> and in that split second as we made that eye contact, Tom looked at me like, oh no, not another one type of thing. But I kept that monotone look on my face. And I said, I'm telling you, you can't hear shit. This radio is nothing but noise. Now, I could have really screwed with his head, but I don't play those kind of games like you try to do. But the thing is, Tim, is you don't have the background or the knowledge of radios and antennas. You just sound like it to the people that you associate with, it seems like. So I turned the yard gain up down the volume after I sat down I was like I'm telling you man there's all kinds of people out there do you have your inverter on shut your inverter up he jumps in the truck we, we we do all these necessary things if you know what you're doing to do I said nope this radio don't hear I never put it on the bench Tim I looked at it so well, I'm not touching it man your soldering skills really suck by the way so I said okay you want to hear what's really going on out there and he kind of looked at me. I said, come on, let's go to my Jeep. And it was probably, I don't remember exactly, seconds to half of a minute, I turned my camera on. So I talked about it, I said, I want to show your face, let's just turn it on, let you talk on it. And when he got in the Jeep, he's walking up to my Jeep. I know I could, I could see the look on his face. And as you're walking up to my Jeep, you could hear all the signals coming in. And DX, you know. There it was. So, your receive sucks, by the way. And I'm not picking on you. It just sucks. You couldn't hear hardly anything on your radio besides white hiss versus, like, my Jeep. My Jeep's pretty good. It's, it's got some good ears. So, and look how close he is to him, too. He's okay. 
you've seen that, so he wasn't close. You've seen the meter bouncing. He's not even in the parking lot. It's not even in the parking lot. I, the, 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 uh, See it? Um, Tom, the guy, the customer is right. See the meter bouncing up and down? Pay attention. Right on top of him, man. It's, he's right on top of Mark. That's why he sounds like that. He sounds like that because you jacked up the radio. You don't know what you're doing. I know it's not what you want to hear, but you don't know what you're doing. You're a good bullshitter, though. I imagine a lot of people have believed a lot of your shit until now, and some still are probably leery, but we'll keep going. It's not because of the radio. It's the radio. And you're also doing a very misleading recording. You shouldn't be using the type of speakers or recommended six by nines either. You act and talk like you know about sound and sound systems, but a six by nine is gonna be a very inaccurate speaker to use due to the fact of the oval type of speaker which will carry or produce a richer frequency response, especially for the lows, because of the shape. So we don't even know what you got playing through there. You know, listen to that. It's not because, here you go. That's correct, nothing. Like I was saying before, if just because the limiter's in, people say, oh, the limiter's in. That doesn't mean anything. It means nothing. If you can't adjust the peak ratio exactly and know what you're doing consistently. Consistently means you must know what you're doing. Otherwise, you just crank it up, tell them to put a power mic on there, and that's what you sound like. And then if you don't know how to alter the frequency response, which you didn't naturally wouldn't because you left the radio out the door, which is difficult, Snake. These are very tedious to work on. The any tones are much, 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 much worse than all the components that need to be changed. If you attempt to turn it down externally, you turn down. And again, it doesn't matter if it's in there or not. You can just open it up. If you open it up, it over modulates. The minute you get over like 99, 100% on that negative peak, Depend on the ratio that you're looking at and the frequency response means you're going to be splattering into the adjacent channels. That right there, that is your heat problem, by the way. Major heat issue. Either extreme low frequencies, which are over modulate, or the higher frequencies. Okay. So I called the customer and told him, look, man. Look, man. I told you, if you wanted to return those ra the radios, you have the option to do that. I have the emails to prove it. I, I told him, I told him. Okay, well you and Tom said are two different things. I wasn't at either place at that time, but I do know you upset Tom. Tom's not a candy ass. I'm not a candy ass either, snake. I hope you're listening real close. Snake. But he's a good guy. He stayed away from all this shit. Kind of led me to fend for myself here. Kind of pisses me off in a way. Yeah, it does. But, uh, you trashed on him. He's using the bathroom. I got a call right after that. You know, he was telling me what was said. Unbelievable, man. You are unacceptable as a human being. He sent it back to me once, and then I put a um, Max Mod in it. That's when, you <coughs> that's when you met him. And then I said, I told him, I said, the, 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 the Lincolns are, they run real hot, and... Not if you tune them correctly. They do not sound good with the stock mic. They sound fantastic with the stock mic. They do. That's one. Of the, that's probably the best mic you can use without any kind of alteration at all. Leave them mics alone, man. Stop screwing with the mics. Learn how to tune the radio. Or stick with radios that you know how to tune, man. I, I right here, look. I recommend getting the power mic on with the adapter. Oh, yeah, you said in this video that, you know, 
this is going to be long, I can tell that already. You said that uh, you recommended the power mic. He had an SL41 on it. And then you could hear it in the video, he's changing back and forth, and you know it, but you're being flipping misleading again, boy. Trying to lie to people, insulting people's intelligence. Let's go further. Okay. okay. He did not do that. Gets one from him. And, he, and then he, now he says that Mark's is are far superior to me, and I have. I okay, he said that, and it's true. Okay? I don't mess with your Cobra 2000s. You shouldn't be messing with these. You don't have the competency or the knowledge and the radio background to be able to work on this type of radio. Snake. Now, maybe that's what kicked you off. I don't know. But the first time you called me all kinds of names, giving me the bird out of the clear blue sky. That was, uh, I don't know, six months and two, three weeks ago. I haven't said a word. But you wanted to open your mouth. You cannot have the ability. That's all you are is a mouth. Ability to do what Mark does. What Mark does. Bullshit, man. It's total bullshit. And I told the customer. If you could do it, then do it what I did in my other one. Like I did in my other one. See, the problem with people like you is if you can't find it on cbtricks.com or some kind of shit like that that you can't do it. See, I can give out all this information and show the actual formulas, but I'm not going to with the service mount because not many people are going to be able to do it. They're going to destroy the radios. I don't want people inside these radios. I don't even put labels on them. That's why I screen my customers. Yes, everybody's on audition. And yes, I'm very busy. But yes, I want the right people to have my radio. So yes, go through my procedure or take the highway. I was very upset. This this video is deceptive. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. Very. Your video is extremely deceptive. Let me shut up for a little while. Unless something very interesting pops up. This video is completely deceptive. Yep. And he did not, the customer did not return the radios as I told him he could do. Right in a email. Uh... He asked me what to do, Tim. You must think that we have some kind of conspiracy going on, but you, maybe you need a couple more layers of tin under your baseball hat or something. Because uh, it's not the way you think. I seen the radio. What was really funny is how he licked his finger to touch the radio so it wouldn't burn him. That was hilarious. Oh my God, I never laughed. Yeah, I've laughed hard, but that was one of the hardest times I ever laughed. <clears throat> that was crazy. So, I've seen Tom more than once. And he had the striker hooked up. <clears throat> I was like, you want to you wanna work on it? You want to put it on the bench? Now, you, I know you're not going to believe this, but it doesn't matter what you believe. You're, you're irrelevant here, remember? Is I said, no, man, I don't want the drama. I, I really don't want it. I don't want your money, and I don't want the drama. But give me a screwdriver. Let me look inside. I forget what kind of screwdriver. Some kind of screwdriver. But he had some tools. He's been, Tom's been following direction. He's got, he's got some tools now for a radio. His analyzer, his ohmmeter, some eyelets, and soldering iron. Congratulations, Tom. So I, I did look on the inside, and uh, the only places that had some shitty looking solder joints were the capacitors. I've seen worse. I mean, it was, I don't know what kind of solder you're using, the temperature's not right, and it's gray looking. And you're really rough on your solder sucker when you're ripping the traces off, type of thing. But besides that, I didn't really do anything else. So I, I don't want the drama man you know keep it do whatever you know and we haven't even discussed it since all your drama bullshit that you started again you've got a other driver that's using it it works it's not what Tom wants but it's working he doesn't talk as much as Tom no no offense there Tom Tom talks a lot he's 
I'm very familiar with the type of driver Tom is and what he uses the radio for. So you have to know how to tune them according to that. Capiche? So no one was really looking to start shit with you. You just do it to yourself. Now, I told him he could return the radios right in an email, man. Okay, so let me, uh... You really ought to, you know, not show all this kind of stuff. Some stuff you show, but... Let me find the part again. In the video. It's because he has, it's because he has his volume up. Now you can see where it is. <coughs> Has nothing to do with the volume, man. Nothing. Three quarters. On that's not three quarters. That's half. The steady tone. Straight up and down. Look at it. Just a degree or two more than half. See a little white knob and a little volume thing. The thing where it sticks out. If I had a, oh, right there. Yeah. Three quarters is over here. Wide open is down over here. Yeah, that's three quarters. That's just like what five eighths, if that. See, that's half, right there. See, I'm learning. That's why it sounds distorted, man. But your voice sounds distorted. That's why the radio sounds distorted. So, Mark, you're a deceptive asshole, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's what we call each other now, man. That's the kind of shit that you're doing to people. Boy. With your type A mental disorder yeah, yeah 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 i forget what i call him it's not good though it's what you call him he calls me a you deceptive baba asshole <laughs> we laugh about it it's, you're a real winner snake you are just you are just uh, you are a deceptive asshole mark and you should be ashamed of yourself man yeah sometimes i am not of myself, but being in this business. Really. You should be ashamed of yourself. Not ashamed, disappointed. Shitbags like you. And I said it, and I mean it. Let's find somebody else. That's right. Because you know you're lying. All this clicking and clicking. I'm listening to your voice. I'm pretty good at that. In the same... Right in the same uh, parking lot. See, he is, he's in a parking lot with one of the trucks. See? He's in a parking lot with trucks. Okay? And I helped this customer with his antennas, and I went, I bent over backwards for this guy, man. Yep, S Snake. Let me tell you something. I will agree with you there. You bend over backwards, you get bent over. I will agree with you on that, man. And sometimes you say, I've listened to you on this. And put it this way, you really don't want to know me too well. You really don't. But I've listened to this. And there are things that I agree with. But you went overboard here. Yes, you can go over the end. You spend a lot of time with people sometimes, and uh, it just really makes you wonder what the hell happened, you know? And the more time you, you try to help somebody, the more shit you end up with. So I will agree with you there, only to this point in the video. So let's see what else happens. And he goes on here and, and you know, there you go. Yeah, the volume's halfway. It sounds good. But if you can't run the power wide open, the mic game wide open, and sound like perfect, like 10, 20 feet away, and the same even further away, then your tune is screwed up. Whether the transmit, the transmit, if you don't have a scope to be able to set it in a spectrum analyzer and tune bench, you're never going to figure it out. If you were shown, maybe, but you can't afford anybody to teach you. There you go. The radio sounds perfect. Could he turn the mic down and quit eating the mic? It's not eating the mic. See? And look, his volume is halfway down now. See? That's where we started out at. 
the volume, his volume in the video is halfway down. Listen to your voice, Tim. Listen to his voice. Uh, that's why he sounds good. It doesn't sound muffly, man. Mark, you're a liar. Nope, you're a liar. You're, you're a liar, Mark. <clears throat> his radio sounds fine. You'll hear a radio that sounds fine when you hear Gringo talk. His Mark. Because every real. <laughs> I already His said that. sounds fine, Mark. He's eating them. And whenever you have the slightest amount of distortion, even distortion that you can't hear, the critical part is the distortion that you can see. Uh, give you one clue how you can determine that and what tool it is. Actually, it takes two. Yeah, that's the scope. Microphone. And, you're, and with the volume down, as you see in this video, people, that he does, the, the customer that I sold the radio to does not sound distorted. Okay? There you go. That's, that's it right there. Now watch. Later in the video... <laughs> See? And Mark, you said it sounds good like that. Right there. Yes, I did. It wasn't extremely shitty. But you have to watch the other video because this this video is a joke. You need, you, you need to be wearing a tinfoil hat to watch this video. Let's proceed. There you go. There you go. He just pointed out it sounds crystal clear, man. Listen. Listen again. So Tom, you got deceived. You got taken as well. How do you figure? You got taken. You got paid. Tom, you got deceived. Look, his volume's halfway down, man. Now watch, watch later in the video. His volume's up at three quarters. When he, when he wants to make it sound as... Yeah, only when, you know, there's no one in the parking lot and everyone's gone. That's when it's turned up. Sorted. Probably on sideband. See, you're that guy? He <laughs> yeah, he's really over-modulated. Sounds just like Tom. It's a sorted too in the video. Look. He is also distorted in the radio. I'm not going to stand for this, man. This is totally... You gotta stand up like a man and admit all your bullshit. Oh, bullshit. Total defamatory, slanderous crap. And I'm sick of it, man. Well, then don't play your games. People like you that play games, well, you get what you call out, man. It's the way it is. It's because... You called me what and all kinds of other crap in a video right before this? Giving me the bird? He's in the same parking lot as the guy he's talking to, man. And he, look, his, look how high his volume is. Just to make him... And by the way, when Tom was talking a lot of the time, when he pulled out, see, I didn't put the camera on Tom's truck, you know, the truck number. Tom was actually on the on-ramp. Not the on-ramp, but the road to the left parked. He was uh, doing his paperwork. So, just to make Mark make himself look better... There's another one that's distorted. You see how see on the volume? <laughs> yeah, the volume's been barely turned up. Most volume up that much more higher on the video. I like how you just turn your hand like that. Oh, it's the same place. It's like five eighths. Yeah, right there. Straight line. No, it's going to make a distorted radio. No, it's not. Maybe one of your radios on the receive. See? That's Gringo right there. In the original video, Tom is to the right. Over here is backed in. You're going to hear this radio in a second if he plays it. He talks to me when he's right there. And you know where my camera is. Right there in the windshield. Gringo's got the 447 HPC too. He told sees in the same parking lot as the other his trucks are. Of course he's gonna be overdriven, man. 
No, that's part of doing radio work. No, if you got 500 watts carrier and you're that close, uh, if it's clean, you won't even know it. You won't even know it. It would appear that the amplitude seems lower and it wouldn't sound as rich, but it wouldn't be overmodulated. Only when they sound overmodulated is <laughs> when they're overmodulated. Snake, you have you may have been doing this a while, but you don't really have much experience. So we're driving the front end of the radio cab. You have no idea. He doesn't have the volume, doesn't have the volume to rub. <laughs> <laughs> Abidi, abidi, abidi. Keep going. This part. That's but listen, this is the customer that I sold the radio to right here. Listen, this is how he sounds with the volume down. That's what, that's what you're going to get to hear of it. Okay, here you go. Listen, you can hear distortion on the, on the, on the audio, on the video itself, because of Mark's shitty camera. <clears throat> In your video, but no, you're right, my camera, which my phone isn't really that shitty, but I'm sitting still works pretty good, but I did upgrade to a better phone or camera. But no, it's not bad. This video is pretty good. I spent the extra time holding the camera, you know, away from the speaker. The windows were pretty much up all the time, so it's a pretty darn accurate recording. Pretty darn accurate. But what you're playing back is like you're playing with something. It's like you keep going click, 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 click. Just let it play. And instead of trying to manipulate what the audience is looking at, that's all you're doing. There's the customer right there. Let's see. See the <laughs> carrier? <laughs> he was sitting off to my right. That's right, right there. Nothing wrong with my radios, either one of them. They receive nothing. Look at, look at his signal. He's right on top of Mark, man. Yeah. And listen, see, he had, him on, he had the modulation turned all the way up, man. Exactly. There's, if you can't turn the modulation wide open, someone jacked up your radio. Okay, and Mark, and Mark just stated he look. Mark just stated he sounded crystal clear, man. No, not bad. See the yeah, we're trying to get him to where he sounds decent, is what he's doing, Snake. But you're making it look different. You're being misleading. What we were doing is trying to get it to figure out how he can make it work to where he can use it and not sound like an idiot. People like you, maybe not all radios, I'm sure you got some of the old Cobras figured out by now, they're pretty much idiot proof. They don't want to sound like a moron. They don't. <laughs> My customer base must be a lot different than yours. They don't want to sound stupid. Customer did not know how to set his radio mic, mic gain after I told him how to set It should be wide open. Power wide open, mic gain wide open. If you can't do that, it means your radio is jacked up. Set it, man. See? So see, you hear Mark's double talk now? Oh, it was the echo. It was the echo. But I told him before, there's no double talk. It was the echo with the, with the muffly echo, yeah. Well, that's the, that's the way President made it, not me. Doesn't matter. You're the one that sold the radio. What do you mean it doesn't matter? That's like the definition of a screwdriver jockey, a golden screwdriver jockey. A golden screwdriver jockey is, well, I don't know if you even qualify for that. The typical golden screwdriver jockey. He might have a, a scope, he might have a, a service monitor, a, a, a service manual schematic. He might even have some high-end equipment. He might even also be, say, NIST's traceable certification. <clears throat> but what they'll do, the golden screwdriver jockey, is no matter what radio it is, they'll open the little book from 20 to 100 test points and adjustments, they'll make those adjustments according to their equipment, like their own meter. 
voltmeter, whatever the case might be. <clears throat> then slap the lid on it and call it good. No matter how it sounds. That's a golden screwdriver, Jackie. Now, a 148, 2510, <clears throat> some other older radios, you could do that. The tolerances were tight enough. Now, I've learned a lot from some of the older military guys and how they would actually work on radios in the field, etc. And this is like Korea, Vietnam. Those radios are entirely different than this 10 meter junk that we work on. Excuse me, it pretty much is. I just take what can be decent, take a turd and make it a diamond. To the best I can, anyways. But you take aircraft, marine, you know, military, ICOM Kenwood, with the tight tolerances they have, you can actually just sit down and do that. And it's going to fall within specs. And it's going to work pretty good. But it might pull to the right, pull to the left. Like you go for an alignment. You go, well, I did what it said. You go in for an alignment, it was pulling to the right, you leave. Now it pulls to the left. That's a golden screwdriver, Jackie. An actual tech doesn't need the book. He doesn't need the book at all. He knows what he's doing to achieve the exact outcome or goals. Because you take a lot of these 10 meter radios, exports, they've made so many changes to them. There's updates, yes, but it doesn't matter. There's too many changes. And then they slap an amplifier on the inside, then this kind of amplifier, that kind of amplifier. They go from bipolar to MOSFET from one to two to a, a MOSFET radio pushing a bipolar and two bipolar transistors like 2290s to four and eight IRF 520s. Everything drastically changes. Drastically. I'm not going to go in depth on this. And I'm, I'm never going to. So you don't see me do a lot of things. If you go back in history, Snake, you will learn a lot. I show a lot about how to tune a radio. A lot of it's still on my personal Facebook page. So a lot of it's not on YouTube. But there's really no need for it. I don't try to teach people how to tune their radio. I do that. That's my job. And I show the outcome. As true as anyone ever has so far in our radio history. Nobody has. That's why people are you're hearing it, you see it. I'm setting the standards whether you like it or not, or anybody listening. NIST. Could it be more accurate? Eh, maybe, probably. It's pretty darn close. So, you just got in there, you cranked a couple things. You know, the butcher just gets in there, clip snips, turns everything to the right. I won't call that a screwdriver jackie. Now we know what a golden screwdriver jackie is kind of where it comes from. They're usually extremely arrogant and they'll call it good. Wrap it up, ship it out the door and blame it on something or someone else. But in a way, they did their job in their head. The meaningless little job. That's what they did. Okay. Uh, there's going to be more and more probably a lot of people are going to really hate this video click like dislike unsubscribe subscribe but pay attention pay attention it's three o'clock in the morning it's pissing me off snake okay see so you have the volume all the way up man I can't believe how much time you waste on this. He had this. the volume all the way up. I mean, he had the mic aid, the customer had the mic aid all the way up on his... Uh... We should just skip all the way past this and watch the original video instead of listening to this guy babble, but we'll keep going. On his radio, and it's, and it's, was, it, was, it was over so close. Why do you always got excuses? So this video is total bullshit, man. <laughs> yes, it is. Listen. 
Watching your video is total BS. So the customer right there turned the mic down and it sounds beautiful. But with the present Lincoln, if you don't turn the mic in almost all the way up, it doesn't have any output. It has. That's because you got to know what you're doing. No low output and, and low audio. Okay. That's if you don't know what you're doing. Sounds like a truck stop radio, man. You gave him a truck stop radio because you don't know what you're doing. There you go, man. Yeah, so I called the customer and called his bluff, man. And called the bullshit because I was very pissed. This is total crap, man. Total crap, and I'm it tired is. of it. Mark Sherman, you're an asshole. <laughs> yep. You're a liar. Okay. Nope. You're an asshole and a, and a liar. Right. Okay. Here's the customer. Here's me in the phone call with the customer. I just called him today. I did hear this, you know, I was there talking to Tom. Tom's not hurting for the money, Snake. He's not. He didn't try to hurt you at all. You paying attention? I hope you are. He, didn't, he doesn't have to return it. He was never mad at you. And this is how you treated him. Customer said right. Three quarters. Now those any tones distort when you have the volume turned up three quarters. So that is completely deceptive, and I'm really pretty, pretty pissed off about it, man. Those Lincolns sound like that, dude. I, I told you that in the original video. The Lincolns don't sound good. I told you that. But you came to me. You came to me, and you wanted Lincolns, man. You came to me. I didn't sell him to you. Yeah. Okay, you didn't sell him to him. Well, you took his money. People wonder why I sell what I sell. And I don't discuss anything else unless you pay me. So I have a minimum, it's 150. 10 words or less, I'll give you a yes or no. Or do what I say. Because I've already been through all this stuff like 30 years ago. That's why I sell what I sell. You don't have to sell him that and you guys that are chopping limiters or putting switches on there you need to be chopped chopping radios making them splatter what kind of flipping morons are you out there no integrity doesn't matter what they want because it's not going to help them they're going to burn their shit up and they get out less so you have the technical knowledge you know how to use an oscilloscope a real one the calibration without it you'll never know now, plenty of videos that explain it and all these video gates it's plain and simple <laughs> yeah it's a lot more it's well once you get a bench set up it's expensive oh yeah and a lot of time you know you have not attuned the bench got plenty of information on that well, you yeah 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 yeah, you did. Yes, yes. And I said, I said, you want to return the radio? And you didn't return it. Right, because I knew you were not capable of doing anything about it. You know? I would have gave your money back, Tom. Well, I chose not to uh, worry about it. Okay. Did you hear that? You jumped the gun on the guy. I don't know Tom real well. But I know by listening to Tom's voice. It's one thing I've, I've done a lot of. 
I don't need to see a person. I can listen to them. I've got a lot, a lot of hours on the radio, which a lot of people cannot even imagine what I'm talking about. Tom can. But you didn't listen to what he just said and how he said it. And you just jumped him again. So let's make this one an educational video too for other people. My original video, I said it's going to be an educational video. And it is. Look at all this. Look what kind of time, yeah. time you're wasting, Tim. And all the bullshit you've caused. You should be ashamed of yourself. There you go. He chose not to worry about it. He chose not to worry about it. That's right. He didn't want his money back. It still worked. I didn't put it on the bench. But I looked at it. So it'll work, you know. And that's what he decided to do. You're a dick. Clear up something here. Uh, a deceptive video of uh, Mark Sherman at Fine Tune CV Shop listening to one of my radios in the same parking lot as the driver that who is on the radio, who was a customer of mine. <laughs> he may have still have been if you didn't te you know treat him that way. You treated him pretty bad. Tom Warren, and I told him up front that the Lincolns get hot on the sides of the radio. You shouldn't have sold it to him then. Are you that hard up and broke? In the original video, and that you have... You should follow my videos. I explain all the stuff and what I'm doing, what I'm not doing. It's quite obvious. I have to turn up the, the mic in all the way to get any power out of him, and he still wanted to buy him, okay? So <laughs> you didn't have to sell him to him. Oh, and now he comes on Mark. I get that all the time. Yeah, I mean... Listen, some of the customers or ex now they're not even customers yet. They they bother me. You know, I say what I sell. Well, I want to buy this. I don't care. What do you want to buy that I sell? Is how I say it. And if they keep pushing it, because I have a procedure. Procedures usually have to do with integrity and consistency. They get the boot done. I don't look back. Now, are there a couple people blocked on my page that may not have deserved it? Maybe one out of a couple hundred. But that's it. You have to know where to stand, Snake. But you don't seem to stand upright. CB shop here and said it sounds like a tin can with no string. Hey, that's what he said. That comment's been there four months ago. Now that I just stopped the video, no comment. You see what I said. I asked him if he ever got into that radio with a screwdriver. If anyone comes back and looks at these comments, you are seeing how nice everything was. The integrity involved in this video. Maybe that's what you can't stand. Maybe you have a major issue with integrity. Because by listening to you for like the last day, you have none, man. You told so many lies that I think you believe some of the shit that you say. Okay. Look, I mean, you know, wow, that radio worked, worked on sounds perfect, okay? And that guy above now, don't be harassing him. Which... He's on sideband most of the time, and it's Global Mobile. You know, we talk from time to time in DX, 38 lower sideband, maybe sometimes 20, maybe 19. He's a cool guy. He doesn't have any issues. <clears throat> but you sure do. Read it, look. I don't know if there's any applies, replies above that. Well, let me go like this. High replies, no. Well, I just said... Okay, he says, wow, that radio you worked on sounds perfectly good. It sounds like poo-poo. I said, no comment, and then thanks. Warren says, I will say it sounds like a tin. I mean, hey. That's how they sound. That's what he said. No, I got a video, but one sounds like properly tuned. Now, it takes more than a golden screwdriver to do it. 
Sounds awesome. Um, that's how the Lincoln sound. Okay, what's the next one? You mean in the comment okay. down there? I remember when you accused me of telling people that they sound good. Okay, you see that comment? Tom knows what I mean. What, what I'm talking about is I don't always tell people they sound like shit. Because most of the time, that's all I'd be able to say. Be negative. I don't want. I, I don't want to be negative. So I don't want no more new radios. I'm not, I don't test anything for any more anybody anymore. I'm sick and tired of the negativity. Or even, I mean, you don't know how many people already have wanted me to check your work, Mike's work. You know, they all want. Oh man, I got this radio. Well, I don't give a shit. What does that pay me? For all this flipping drama bullshit. You know what I mean? Excuse my French. As you can see, you can read it right here. Remember when you accused me of telling people that a radio sounds good when it don't? Sometimes it's best. Well, you can go to the video and read it. But if I what didn't tell him what I told him, and he did sound, you know, halfway decent. He didn't hear he didn't hear it. He couldn't hear his radio. I don't think I went to his truck and talked on it. Sorry about the train. That might get loud. But he needed to hear it for himself. I mean, that's ex that's exactly what went on here. It's a really good video. It's too bad that you're involved, Snake. Okay, let's see. Remember when I you when you accused me of telling people that radio sounds good? Sometimes it's best for the customer to hear it for themselves. And the video was put up on YouTube. He's seen it. And one day I will be cleaner and meaner is my dream. So obviously that's what popped your little bubble, man. Your little free space in the world. Accept it, man. Act like a man. Not a little bitch. It's not my pro it's not my What is your problem? Fault, number one. Number two. You need to stand up and accept responsibility and stop placing the blame Mr. Type A personality disorder usually delusional and borderline I'm not going to go in depth with psychology I'm not a psychiatrist but I do know a little bit about it never mind I guess after you've been doing this shit so long you almost have to be to keep your sanity but no, I do know a little bit more about it than I'm going to lead on or even talk about at this particular time, Tim. Do I have the original? Remember, oh, I have the original you build. Down. Well, you keep going up and down looking for different results. Am I pointing it out? Video. And you can hear the radio clearly on my video. Okay. And so then I call you this morning and... Now you can see the dates on that right there. And when Snake put up this video, there were no crazy comments up until Snake, up until Snake just completely lost it. His meltdown. I told you that you could have returned the radios, and you said, I chose not to do worry about it. Yep, he chose not to worry about it. He kept it. He's using it. I chose not to worry about it. Well, that's on you, Tom. That's on you, Tom, okay? You, you chose not to worry about it. Okay, I would have gave your money back, Tom, but you chose not to worry about it. Hey, Toothless, I'm there too, damn near, man. I'll give you this. You're doing pretty good speaking. You're articulate. And I brought it back, remember, and I put a, I put a Max Mod in the radio, okay? So here's the deception, folks. So here he is right here talking, okay, in the first part of it. <laughs> the same shit over and over. Yeah. Look, look how close. The red truck is the 447. That's Gringo. Yes, he is. N not real close. He's even closer, by the way. Watch the other video. He's even closer. And then he's way out in the distance. We were kind of picking on him because of his antenna system. He's got some badass radios. Don't mess with Gringo. He's got some nice stuff. Mark, he's right there next to you, Mark. There's the... <laughs> Snake, stop talking. You're talking to me. You got that part? You don't tell me shit. You need to pay attention. 
He's right there next to you, Mark. He's taking out the receive on your any tone. <laughs> like you're telling me what's up. You can't even tune a radio. And you got the volume halfway up. Listen. Listen. Okay, listen. Okay, let's find the... You're making me dizzy, man. It's hard to watch this shit. Customer again. With the volume. Why don't you just show him the original video? I am turned down at halfway. There he is. See? Mark even said right there. Yeah, yeah, after he had to mess with it, turn the echo off, it sounded good like that. Did you want me to lie to him? It sounds good like that. There you go. Mike ain't turned all the way up. And he's, and he's not, and he's, and the, and the customer's not eating the microphone now. Okay, now watch this. Okay, now he's got the volume turned up another quarter of the, of the turn. Now listen. Why do you keep changing the mic or the volume around, Snake? Okay, now he's talking to... Yeah, yeah, this one sounds good. Turn, don't do nothing, but turn the echo on. Okay, watch this. Mike, Mark, you cannot, you cannot. Yes, I've been working on Surface Mouse since Surface Mouse came out, Snake. And yes, I do. Just because you don't find it online doesn't mean that I share it because I don't. I modify the echo for the frequency response. To start listening to my radios. You obviously haven't been getting educated. All this stuff is on my videos. How to do it, I don't show. But if you watch the most important tool of any RF tech on their bench, there's only one tool called an oscilloscope. You get up around a 400 megahertz, there's a lot more you could do with that versus a 30. A 30 is like useless. A 100 is what you really want. I'm not going to explain how to do it. <clears throat> You're better off just buying the right equipment. A spectrum analyzer is really nice, but if you don't have a scope and a spectrum analyzer or a really nice scope and know how to use it, how do you know what frequencies are achieving higher peaks, voltage peaks? How are you going to adjust the AMC or ALC and the frequency response? Do you even know what the input voltage was that you were putting into the radio? Or were you going, oh, yo, you don't do that kind of shit to tune a radio. Otherwise, the customer's got to turn it up, turn it down, say, for instance. You don't use a radio, Tim. I know that just by the type of tunes that you do. You don't use one. If you used one of your radios, you'd shoot it or run it over. I guarantee it. See, when these guys are going down the road or an actual radio operator that's been using one a long time, see, when they're going down the road being passed from the other direction and or meeting up on another truck, or it's coming up on them and they're passing it vice versa <clears throat> and they're only doing three, four, two, three, four, five, six miles an hour difference. All right, so here comes that sometimes 10, 20, but a truck that's coming the other direction. You can't hear it, but the type of tune that you do, truck stop tune, is you, you don't get out very far. You might skip a little bit, but as you're coming, you can see the, you can see the radio or the truck in the, in the windshield you can barely hear it, and as it gets closer, you can like watch it like the second hand of a clock. It gets louder, 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 but the thing is, is you were talking to the guy five, ten miles ahead of you, and you're talking to the guy a mile behind you and a mile in front of you, all at the same level, and the radios are tuned. But you get some jackwad in there, jacking up radios the way you guys do it, and now all of a sudden, it's super ass loud and splattering. So he's got to turn his volume down. Just to wait for you to go by. Then he can't hear the other guys. This is why you need a scope and know how to use it. It's got to be calibrated. Because each graticule is extremely important. On the power output. Amplitude modulation. You with me on this stuff? This is the important things of radio. It's 
So I, I got some younger guys. Grasshopper. Um, I can't remember your handle in Tennessee. I got some younger ones that I've listened and paid attention throughout the years. Some of my younger ones are getting old already. I'm not a kid. But they've learned. Drivers know more about radios than you're going to know. Than you will ever know, Snake. Mine are the average, been driving like close to 40 years. I take, I do take pride in that. I do. So now, the type of tune you do up and down the volume. A professional driver don't want to have to do that, especially if he's hauling like, not hauling, or you know, over dimensional. Now he's got an escort in front of him, behind him. And you got some jacked up receive if you don't know how to tune a receiver. Or some internet mods on the receiver. You got front end overload. Or it's just not adjusted correctly. The AGC, ALC is all whacked out of proportion. And then they're sitting there turning dials, trying to make it clear again. But you'll see that not one of my customers has ever had a problem with that. I've been doing this a long time, dude. I'm surprised you are acting the way you are. You should know better. But maybe that will help you in the future. You're better off just converting it. Don't touch nothing inside. You do not have the equipment. And if you buy the equipment, it's going to cost you a lot of money. You don't get this shit off of flea bay. That little sticker bullshit. No, you need a real lab. All my stuff comes from like where they remanufacture it with certification, NIST traceable certification. It gets all the real stuff. When you get to that point, then you could do something. Or snakes, stick with 29s, 148s, 2Ks. As long as you keep them pretty close to factory, you can actually use the service manual ohm meter. You still gotta have 50 ohms though, especially with this MOSFET stuff. If your bench ain't dead nuts on, oh boy, I'm not gonna, if a large crowd pays me, I'll show it, but I'm not showing more stuff anymore. I've already showed everything that's relevant. Everything. There's a lot more, by the way. I barely touched the tip of the iceberg. But, get the point? You gotta turn the mic gain up, turn the mic gain down. You go to sideband, you gotta turn the mic gain this way, turn the mic gain that way. You got to turn the power of this, turn the power of that. That's a hack job, man. That's what we call a hack job. The experienced guys don't want that shit. They don't want that at all. Now, if he's, you know, 110 feet long, see, I've done that too. Like sailboats, I never did heavy. But uh, I had to have escorts, front and back. Nothing like some of these other guys, man. I was Tonka Toy looking shit with a truck compared to 128 wheels, man. Imagine that. Some serious shit. So they gotta have a radio that can hear close, hear far, talk close, talk far, no matter flipping what. Okay, the, this is the important shit. Not get in there with a flipping screwdriver. I'm doing my best to watch my vocabulary, okay? Screwdriver jockeys, if you can't do the work, get out of the kitchen, man, all right? Really? Let's go a little bit more. You're a liar. You're a liar, Mark. You cannot, you don't work on service mount radios, Mark. <laughs> You're a liar, okay? You cannot modify the echo in the in the president to be less muffly, Mark. <coughs> the modifying the SSB50s since the day they came out and every other echo board in the path. This is what I was just talking about. Matching, I think it's a little tricky, the type of mic, and forget the power mics. Truck drivers do not need power mics or anything like the switch, like a Road King or an Aesthetic. Those days are gone. It's too much hassle. They gotta get off the highway, go find somewhere to get it fixed, or buy another one for a crazy price at the truck stop. The SRE-198 is the mic, but what most people realize, the SRE-198 totally sucks on almost every radio out there due to its, its uh, frequency response. But with the proper modifications to the radio, you just plug it in and you're done. You have to replace the mic, buy another one, plug it in, you're done. They're consistent. 
but the PAT, the frequency response, and the repeats is all matched with the echo off, echo on, frequency response, voltage, throughout to the talkback, AM, and sideband. I don't care about FM. We're not supposed to be using that stuff here anyway, at least not on CB. But all these things have to be taken into consideration. I show this in the videos. I show it when I'm talking on the radio. Sometimes I don't talk about it, but I get PMs people want to buy radios. I, I like how some guy said, I see your radio, it works, I want one. Cool. How you paying? Boom, done, paid. It's gonna be at least two months minimum. Next, that's that's what I, that's what I do. I bet that pisses you off too. That's just how it is, man. Okay, so that's number one. Okay. There you go, wide open. Look. He shouldn't even be screwing around, man. I mean, he shouldn't be. If you knew what you were doing, it doesn't matter what radio, you let it out of your shop it's your fault Tim stop blaming it on other people look 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 don't be pointing at my radio my radio is awesome everybody knows that look see he says this plus sounds good that's the mic ain't wide open you know watch later when he has the volume turned up yeah when he's 10 miles down the highway. See now. See now, you just, you skip the head. See, so you're being so full of shit what you're doing here in this video. You keep clicking around trying to prove your point. You but you failed miserably, snake. There you go. Right there. Yeah, right there, see? Right in the same spot. Best thing to do is watch the real video, not this jacked up thing Snake's probably trying to show you. Right there. Okay, now it's right there. Now let's see where he's at. The video is distorted. Your video is distorted. Let's see, hear that one? We got a copy on that one. The video is distorted. You can. <laughs> he was the he's the clearest radio that you hear the entire time throughout the entire video, kicking the shit out of everything, no matter where he is, up close, far away. Chris, I I am not trying to advertise my radio now on this video, but just to make a note. You really need to watch the other video instead of this deceitful bullshit snake playing the games with. But considering he's playing this little game, let's just keep going. Hear distortion in Mark Sherman's voice on the video as well. It's because of his camera. He's using a camera phone. And look, he's got the volume up too high on the radio. Just don't push it. Yeah, my voice was pretty rough that day, actually. It really was. I was really tired and sick, rainy day. But it still has nothing to do with the video. You're recording while you're doing this. It's like you're making it sound like shit. <laughs> well, you see it pretty good. Now, see, Gring yeah, Gringo was gone. Tom's still sitting over there to the right. <laughs> Why do you keep jumping all over the place, man? It's like you're jonesing or something, man. You know, people that keep doing the same thing over and over, looking for a different result. <laughs> There's a saying for that type of personality. That clicking's driving me nuts. So this video is totally deceptive and bullshit lies. Totally deceptive. There you go. The Why? It's the same, same damn place. Fine. You gotta watch the other video. Turned up and now the same radio, same mic gain, 
Can you hear the other radio? Same guys, talk, the customers talking into the same level and everything, and it sounds distorted now. Of course, the mic gain's turned up too high, and the little that's not mic gain, that's volume, and that can go another. You know, three quarters would be over here. That's just a little over half. There's three quarters. There's two seventy down there. Why are you so full of shit, Snake? You try to cover up your work is what you're doing, and then you really trashed on that customer. Speaker Mark has in his truck is distorting because the audio chip in the radio is distorting. There you go. Listen. That's the radio over modulating. Because you don't have a scope and you went audio and you tuned it. Because you tuned it for maximum power. And you probably even adjusted the, the biasing, not knowing what you're doing. Right there. Well, maybe you did. You can make the meter swing more, but then you screw up sideband and the radio gets real hot. Real hot. Hey. Hear that? Hear the distortion? Right there in the video. That's not the radio. That's the radio distorting. Listen. Listen. Yep, all the other radios are distorting. That's true. This is the radio. The any tone distorting. See, on a weak signal. Hear how clear he is? He was just that clear when he was like ten foot in front of my truck. See, now he turned up the video. He turned up the. He turned up the audio. Yes, I turned up the volume so that I could hear further out. Okay. Look, the guy's right up on top of him. The guy's right up on top of him. And he's got the volume turned way up now just to make make it look like the my radio sounds bad. No, no, no. Like I just said, Green goes way out there. Here are they all sound distorted except for 447. See, we still hear him? Sure do. And see, he's no longer in the parking lot, see? He already dropped down a couple bars. You don't have a clue how radios work there, Sneak. The customer's yelling into the mic, and he's eating the mic, too. See how low the carrier is? He's down the highway. Okay. 12 miles. So there you go, man. 12 miles. Mark Sherman, you're a liar. And you're distorting the truth by turning up your volume and having the customer yell into the microphone. Because <laughs> the customer... Yeah, I had him yell into it. ...joined it in the mic when you were too close to him in the same parking lot with a cheap little three-inch speaker in your truck. Okay? That's a unit at ESP20. It's a 20-watt version. So... It's a good speaker. Mark, I'm ashamed of you, man. I, I, I'm ashamed of you. And what it sounds like, Snake, is you're just ashamed of your work that it totally sucks bad you and you're a lying piece of crap okay all right there you go and tom the customer i told you i would take the, i would have took the radio back and you chose not to uh take it you chose not to return it to me what good would it have that done snake it doesn't make any sense what good would that have done if he'd have returned it here's the video okay it doesn't matter so you're trying to prove a point that doesn't matter it's like your opinion Everything you say just doesn't matter. What would have been changed to be returned to radio? Nothing. So, so you just babble, man. You'd be better off if you didn't talk. It's on both of you guys, man. It's on both of you, not me. <laughs> it's all you, Tim. All you, accept it. You're probably sitting there, every vibration of my voice you're listening to. Accept it, Tim. You're a shyster. All right, and that's why I'm freaking pissed, man. That's what. You're a shyster with this video. All your deceit. You got an earful, Tom. I gave the customer an earful, and he got it this morning, man. Because this is to Yeah, and I heard about that too, man. The way you treated that guy. Just like December. You came out of the middle, of, the middle of nowhere, calling me names. I'm a piece of shit. shit. You're giving me the bird and all that shit. And then just again, just recently with this video, you got some issues, man. 
it's not only you got mental issues, your work sucks, you might do, you know, if you change the same part all the time, you know, you might be able to do good at that, but you, trust me, man, you don't want to do these type of radios, like the Strikers, the Anytones, the Surface Mount, the Lincolns, you should just leave them alone, or tell them to go to eBay and buy them, and leave them alone, you'd be much better off, and you won't find yourself in this predicament that you put yourself in. Total bullshit, man. All right, thanks. Here's the original build video. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for a few seconds into this. I don't wanna waste no more time. Let me just skip ahead a little bit. You can find that video. That's all the way up, that's crap. Hear the audio part? Let me go like this. It sounds the same, over-modulated. That's what happens when you don't have the knowledge and the test equipment. You don't go audio into a microphone and think you're going to get a tune. You need test equipment. It's all that minute, tiny adjustments that actually get you out there. Slice and dice. Shit like this. Hear that thing? Oh god, I can't listen to that. You should have just kept the stock mic on there. That's all it needs. They work great. I did videos on that years ago showing that. Liar. Okay? And Tom, you should have returned the radio to me, man. Like I like I asked you to. Let's hear what this is. Alright, so I've made my point. Mark Sherman, you're an asshole. Sometimes, Tim, sometimes you have no idea. You have no idea. It sounds like you've lived a pretty sheltered life. And so far, I've been pretty nice to you. You haven't seen asshole yet. You have been an asshole. I think you just said that you gave Tom the opportunity again that doesn't mean anything who cares what you offer Tom no one cares no one cares what you offer him it is his radio he decided to keep it not some kind of weird souvenir you need to get over a kind of high horse trip you're on man you suck at radio work it's obvious in this video he decided to keep that radio as a spare, it's being used in another truck, and you're still harassing this guy. Still harassing him. Me too. And you're a liar, okay? You're deceptive. Your deceptive practices. Um, people are starting to get come on or know who you are, Mark. Yeah, hey, everybody knows who I am. Okay. You're a deceiving liar, okay? And Tom, you should have returned the radio to me, man. Like I like I asked you to. I told you an email, return the radio. And what good would that do again? Besides your benefit, were you gonna pay him? Snake, were you gonna pay him to return it? Can you afford like my wages and his wages? You work for $35 an hour. It's like, you know, someone that actually does this work in an hour, you take like 10 hours to do an hour's work. So which is cheaper? So, you're going to pay him, what are you going to pay him to box everything back up? Because you know Tom would have had to find everything that went back in the box, the bracket and the screws. He's that kind of person. And I don't really know him all that great, but he is. So you'd want him to pack all that stuff up, find a post office. He's like 78 feet long. Without getting a ticket, park or pay for parking, get your address, put a label on it, and mail it off to you with insurance and tracking. I have no doubt in my mind that you would give him his money back, but what benefit besides you trying to control things? There's no benefit at all to him. It's his radio. He's not really too happy with it. You can see why. 
Yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta understand these things, Snake. It's not your way. It's not your way, man. It's his radio. And you're still harassing him. It's not a trophy. It's not under the bunk. It's in another truck. I haven't seen the radio. I haven't talked to it. But as far as I know, there's more than one truck in the same company that goes from here to there. and They talk together. And he knows that it still works. You know, he doesn't like the way it works. But it works. And you're threatening the guy. But you wanted him to return it. Go through all that hassle. You didn't. You said, I don't care. Yep. He, he was done. He doesn't need your money. I'm not going to take the time to do it. Well, that's your fault. Yep, see? I, I think that's what I just said. Oh, Mark? That's you, I mean, Mike. So now, as you, like you said, it's my fault, Snake. You're blaming everything on me. And it comes, when you listen to this, it comes right out of your mouth. The way you're breathing, the way you're acting, your mannerisms, everything. Um, Tom, sorry. That's your fault, Tom. You didn't return the radio when I asked you to return him, and I would have gave your money back, man. All right. Thanks, folks. On the air, he's talking to the customer. Okay. That's the end of that one. So, I gotta come over here. There's a little button. Hopefully the volume came through. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this in front of or behind, but it's just like the rest of the videos. People tell me, oh, there's always little nuggets in those videos you learn something from. Well, you're gonna learn a lot from this one, just like the last one, the original video. We called it an educational video till numb nuts here blows off the handle and wastes everybody's time so he can be the center of attention. Stay tuned in.